Hey, shalom, shalom, manak na wa a borish Allah wa lakim la tam. Koshabu wa ba har kha wa kak sho ya wa ba sha ma ma ma. Which is truly hey with the Hebrew is like coming to you week in week out through the spirit and power of Yahweh Baha Sham. Yahweh shot to preach to you so called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, West Indian Stations, is life on us. Nahamatam, Kaya, Hamalak, Wathasha, Mayam, Korah, repent ye for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Call Laim La, Yahweh Baha Sham, Yahweh Shah Baha Sham, Ha Kodash, Wa Mashana, Kabadim Zukayim Nawa, Wa Malakim, Shaw, Yashallah Zukayim, Ha got a war. Wa Khasa, Washalamam, Rakim, Laha, Baharim, Shaha, Gawayash, Ashalamam, I saw all praise to the Most High Yahweh, which means he exists. Bahasham, the name Yahweh, I deliver his double honors to the elders and apostles of Israel, the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, mercy, peace, and blessings to the elect of the nation of Israel. Shalomam, which means peace. All right, this is Isaiah, Yeshaya, chapter 1, and verse 3. All right, it says, I'm going to do a verse 3 and 4 because essentially this is a clarification video because I mentioned that camp. Um, I was going into verse 4 and I believe I said um, forsaken. Well, I was going into a word in Isaiah 1 and 4. All right. And uh, I misquoted or I misspoke. I said that uh, one of the words is going into Pashai, but I actually had it written in my sword. And it was corresponding with uh, Isaiah 1 and 3. So I just wanted to um, clarify what I was going into. This is Isaiah Yeshaya. Chapter one and verse three. All right, and that word was actually um, so like the word was actually from verse two, or right, because verse four um goes into it as well, which I'm I'm going to I don't want to a and Lord's will is uh, edifying. All right, this is Isaiah Yeshaya one and verse two. It says, "Hear, O heavens, and give ear, O earth, for the Lord hath spoken. I have nursed and brought up children, and they have rebelled against me." Which that word rebel goes into pashai, all right, which means to rebel. It says. The ox knoweth his owner, and the ass his master's crib, but Yasha Allah doeth not know, my people doeth not consider. It says, Ah, sinful nation, a people laden with iniquity, a seed of evildoers. Children that are corruptors, they have for forsaken the Lord, they have provoked the Holy One of Yasha Allah unto anger. They are gone away backward, which, uh, again, it was a word in uh, verse 4. I didn't have the blue letter out, blue letter out at the time. All right, but um, verse. Verse three and four essentially go into uh, the word that I was going into, but I, I misspoke and said it was uh, going into rebel um, specifically. But um, I had it written beside the uh, I had it written beside those two verses because um, it goes into uh, rebelling. Verse four says, "A sinful nation of people laden with iniquity, a seed of evildoers, children that are corrupt, they have they have forsaken the Lord." They have provoked the Holy One of Israel unto anger. They are gone away backward, you see. So um, that essentially goes into rebellion. So I want to get, get a couple precepts on that as well. All right. Let's get, let's get Isaiah chapter 30. And let's get, uh, let's get verse 1. It says, Woe to the rebellious children, all right, two-thirds of Israel. Saith the Lord that take counsel, but not of my spirit, and that cover with the covering, but not. It's a lot. I'm running back. This is Isaiah 31. It says, Woe to the, the rebellious children. Saith the Lord that take counsel, but not of me, and that cover with the covering, but not of my spirit, that they may add sin to sin. You see, ultimately going into um, two thirds confiding in the uh, the ways of Babylon, you know, the ways of Egypt. All right. And the ways of these different captivities says that that walk down. That walk to go down into Egypt and have not asked in my mouth, which the mouth represents the prophets, to strengthen themselves, strengthen themselves in the strength of Pharaoh, and to trust in the shadow of Egypt. Therefore, shall the strength of Pharaoh be your shame, and the trust in the shadow of Egypt your confusion. For his princes were as Zoan, and his ambassadors came to Hanes. They were all ashamed of a people that could not profit them, nor be in, nor be in help, nor profit, but a shame and also a reproach. All right. It says the burden of the beasts of the south in the land of trouble and anguish from whence come the, the young and old lion, the viper and the fiery flying serpent. They will carry their riches upon the shoulders of young asses and they and their treasures upon the, the bunches of camels to a people that shall not profit them. It says for the, the Egyptians shall help in vain and to no purpose. 
Therefore have I cried concerning this, their strength is to sit still. It says, now go write it before them at a table and note it in a book that it may be for the time to come forever and ever that this is a rebellious people, lying children that will not hear the law of the Lord. Or I would say to the seer, see not, and to the prophets, prophesy not unto us right things, speak unto us smooth things, prophesy deceits. All right, that's essentially what, you know, two thirds um, want. All right. Going back to verse four, it says a sinful nation. All right, I'm going to read verse three and four. It says, I'm well, starting from the latter of verse two, because uh, the rebelling um, ultimately expounds in verse three and four. It says, and they have rebelled against me. All right, ultimately trusting in those different captivities. It says the, the ox knoweth his owner and the ass his master's cribs, but, and, his, and the ass his master's crib. But Yasha Allah doeth not know. My people doeth not consider a sinful nation, a people laden with iniquity, a seed of evildoers, children that are corruptors. They have forsaken the Lord. They have provoked the Holy One of Yasha Allah unto anger. They are going away backward. All, you, you see, so ultimately going into expounding on that rebellion. All right. And that word uh, rebellion is uh, Pashai. And I'm actually getting a verse two. All right. And it says. Pashai, it says to rebel, transgress, revolt. All right, which in this time, you know, every we we all went off as a nation, you know, but the elect is the only ones that's turning back to the Lord, all right, and trying to um, uh, offend less. All right, I just want to go into that, you know, and, and clarify that. Um, Adawamra Tazaza by Nayapal, Lord's with us, beautiful edification through the Spirit.